Hello YouTube. So today we'll be taking a look at the Hungarian light tank, the 43M Toldi 3. This is the upgraded version of the Toldi with the 40mm gun. This tank was used uh, first in 1941 against Yugoslavia and then later against uh, Russia or the Soviet Union. Um, it was uh, really effective against uh, the older Russian tanks like the uh, T-26 and the BT-5. But it wasn't any competition against the, uh, the T-34 or the KB tanks. Um, I wanted to get some Hungarian armor as well. They were also part of the the big war there. So um, take a look at this kit. Thanks for watching. So here we have the uh, box art for the 40, 43M Toldi 3. Um, it's a nice box art, I think. Here you have a diagram of the tank. It can help with painting and matching uh, colors. This is from a Hobby Boss, so I expect a decent kit. It's a, a, little, a little older, 2013. It has a sheet with a couple other kits on it. They released that year. A TU2 bomber. That's interesting. But it's in 172, not my scale. The color diagram. The bigger one. Actually make nice little posters. You can hang on the wall if you want. After you use them. So it comes with a lower hole and upper hole that's separated. Then you have here's five five, five sprues of plastic. There's eleven sprues of track. This single track comes with photo etch and then decals. Like on like on most tanks, you start out with the hull, doing the suspension. Here we have the sprockets and road wheels, and, and, and either wheel. It even tells you what the parts are. Well, some of them at least. The bigger parts. The smaller parts it doesn't say. So, more suspension, more suspension. Here's the road wheel arms. Idler, uh, idler wheel sprockets on road wheels. Then a diagram of how many track pieces you need for each side and everything. And you can start here. Here's the exhaust in the back. And start with the up, uh, details in the bottom of the upper hole a little bit here. Fenders. And some photo etch that goes for the uh, for the upper hole. Sponsoons. Here's the driver's hatch and some small some lights and stuff details for the top. These covers for the lights. More like these and rails. Here's covers. And then you put the whole two whole pieces together. Then we start build the turret. Top and top and bottom have the turret, the commanders. Oh, that's the bottom half the cupola. It looks like it has the cupola in the gun manual. And here's the cupola. And details. Uh, another part to the mantlet and then the gun. With the coax, it has a coax as well. Then you put the two pieces together and then you have your tank.
see, they did protect some of the parts with some foam. These are, well, they're exhaust and some small parts. And there's two. Here's the fenders. They look pretty nice with some detail. Rivets along these parts. You can see and there's uh, the bolts here you can see really good. The bolts here you can see really good. The bottom of the turret, the turret ring there, looks not much to see there really. Nice part, nicer uh, parts are nicely molded and so, so far there's no flash and not a lot of pin marks. Here's more of the turret. You see the turret is, is, is not so big. It has two of these rings, so one of them not used. Nice crisp detail on the turret. Bolts and hinges and everything for the hatches there. Looks, looks, pieces look really nice. This is actually a, a pretty small tank. It's even smaller than the Type 97. And the Type 97 is pretty small. It's comparable to a, a Panzer 1, I think, in size. It is a light tank, though. Like the Panzer 1. I think it's a little bit smaller than the Panzer II as well. Here's the bottom of the hull. Not a lot of detail to see on the side here. Actually, none at all. On the bottom, let's be cleaned up here. There's a, a pin mark here on both sides. That's going to have to be taken care of. And I think all the details will be added on to it. They're not. They're not on the kit piece they're all to be added on but there should still I think be a little bit better detail there but since there's no examples maybe it wasn't so easy to get that at least I don't think there's any examples of it pretty sure all these tanks were pretty much destroyed now the top of the hole is a different story the top of the hole has uh, top of the hole has a lot of bolts to see and nice fine details to see. There's bolts along here, along the front, the hinges, doors, grills, and everything. So the top of the hole has nice crisp uh, details on it. Here are two trees for the sp suspension. There's pin marks here on the inside of the sprocket. It may be that they're close enough together they won't be seen. But might, depending on how your taste, you might have to clean it up a little bit. Do some dry fit fitting, see what's visible, what's not, and stuff. Um, the parts look pretty good. There's no pin marks on the road wheels. There's no pin marks on the idler arms to be seen. Just here on this side of the sprocket. Not on this side, just on the one side of the sprocket. The rest looks good. Nice detail all along these parts. And we have one more tree for the for the tank, minus the tracks. And this is uh, some detail parts and uh, the, the gun. I would recommend probably getting 
a metal barrel because this is going to take this has a uh, mold lines all around it the, the fin mold line it can be sanded down and fixed but the uh, metal barrel would look better I would like to get metal barrels for all my tanks actually but it's not always uh, sometimes they don't have any for it except for the barrel I think the, the rest of the parts look pretty good and here we have a tree of photo itch it has mounts for the fenders you know the mounts that go on top for the fenders and a couple of grills it's nice always to have a little photo etched a little photo etch along it looks nice too I don't know who makes it. Hobby Bus probably makes their own. There's also a long piece here. I'm not really sure what it is. Then besides that, all we have left here are the decals, which are pretty simple. Just have uh, the Hungarian symbols here, like uh, I guess license plates they look like, and then these cross symbols. That's all there is to the decals, but they look nice. They're nice looking decals, and um, they should look pretty good. And I'm not going to open every piece of track here because there should be. 11 trees that look uh, identical they're all they're all protected with foam between between every tree there's a piece of foam between it which I can use that later for other stuff and this is small this is a small track really small um, even the track on the BT tanks were, were thick were, were bigger than that and really like Tough metal. It looks like this stuff would break pretty easily, but then it's a light tank, so it's probably not more than 15 tons. So it probably doesn't need very heavy track. But I think the track looks really good. It's really has really nice detail. Um, there's no pin marks on either side, no flash, and, and it looks really nice. I think. So for uh, these Hungarian tanks are not really that uh, popular, I don't think, but uh, it looks like a nice little tank to have in your collection, and I would recommend this kit. It looks pretty good, and it has a couple problems. I think it needs a metal gun tube, and I think it needs um, a little more detail on the underside of the hole would be nice, but other than that, I think it will turn out really nice. Next time we're going to be looking at a, a project, I I pretty much added two kits together and scratch built a mount and made a Sondercraft for our SOA full form for irons, uh, Zeban. I think it was a Zeban. I, I, so I, I created the mount for it. It's a, it's a, a half track with an a, a inner aircraft, a field mounted into aircraft gun in it I, I i scratch built the mount for it and i want to take a look at that and show it off a little bit because i think it looks pretty cool and i also did my own camo uh camo pattern for it something that i thought might be used in a pinch in uh like like in east russia there what's that part down there and, uh, yeah, take a look at that. Thanks for watching. Till next time.